this is the energy vibration lesson for um, the um, Virgo Sun Moon and Rising sign I want to say thank you thank you for being here thank you for being back and let's look and see what is coming up please like share these videos and um, welcome all newcomers and uh, I love you guys please stay with us um, it is the first week of February 2018 and the week begins from the 29th of January until the 4th um, it is the energy of uh, um, the tower and with the energy of the tower we have the zodiac energy of the hair so we're asking the angels and guides for the Virgos to show us what is going to be happening in this week on Monday you have an energy sorry I have to wear my glasses with these cards you have the energy of the world you Virgos oh my gosh isn't that wonderful you Virgos and then um, we have the ten of cups so this is good there is an end into a situation new beginnings and um, a good connection with the family and then we have the Queen of Swords which is going to be the center of your reading this lady seems to be coming up for some earth signs and then we have the two of swords you're seeing a situation clearly so wow isn't it wonderful that is wonderful beautiful so let's see what is happening on Friday we have the energy of the lovers isn't that wonderful and now we have the energy of the moon on Saturday and then on Sunday we have the energy of the eight of Pentacles so um, this is good wonderful week and then um, you have the seven of swords in the reverse form which um, someone was trying to get away with something but it didn't happen so isn't this wonderful this is wonderful this is beautiful and I'm getting um, I am getting um, the thing that um, um, the um, the person that was trying to get away with a situation in your life it is the Queen of Swords and this can be someone who is um, over the age of 40 or maybe close to 40 and is um, this person basically tried to get away with something she stole something and she tried to get away with it but it did not happen it didn't happen it didn't happen and you you saw you saw what was happening and um, you stepped in and um, it didn't happen so this is good this is wonderful this is positive this is really really positive so let's go forward and we are going to be looking at the transition now the world on Monday is just going to be wonderful fabulous and with the energy of the ten of cups is going to be super good this queen is going to have some serious problems you're you had seen the situation very careful here um, very good about what was happening the energy of the lovers and the world is going to be opening up to you and a wonderful new um, as, um, um, opportunities are going to be coming wonderful new opportunities are going to be coming um, as we look at happiness and joy you listen to your intuition about the screen of swords because it's not a very nice person the Queen of Swords, this person who is an Aquarius a Gemini or a Libra is a sick person she's working with the lower energies um, to manipulate the lower energies to do things for her she's a sick person so be aware of this um, as we move forward the screen of swords is um, you know trying to work on something but it's not going to happen because you found out what she's doing and you're seeing um, 
clarity to what has been going on so she tried to do she try really to do something against you and the, your uh, partner because um, yes it's, it's, it's with you and your partner because you can see here the energies of the, the world so it it, it has it's it's ending but wonderful there is the connection between you and your partner cannot be broken it's a soulmate relationship that is uh, so passionate so powerful so this queen of swords try to come in um, and just out of hateful and revenge to um, to break you guys up but it, it, it's not going to happen it's, it's it's not happening so you saw the situation clearly and you saw this good you realized that this person was trying to do negative things let's see what else is happening yes um, this is there's a new start for you and your um, partner or um, your husband or wife um, because it's as if this Queen of Swords come in to intervene in your um, relationship with this person and um, the universe say no absolutely not it's not going to happen this is so wonderful because there is so a wonderful connection that came back on you two or starting over on a new part and it's going to be okay you have the energy of um, the um, you're trying to find balance and you're trying to look at the situation and see a way out in a situation and what is going to transpire is because you know that um, the screen of swords was not a nice person this was someone who was really um, not really nice and um, you're trying to find because the moon is here trying to guide you listen to your feminine intuition listen to your intuition because this you are correct about a situation okay as we move forward and let's see what else is happening we have the eight of wands and um, information will be coming at you and information will be coming from um, the Queen of Swords which is um, this this um, Aquarian um, Gemini or um, Libran but not to worry about this because um, you're working hard and you're just moving forward with stuff as you look at the world a world and the lovers and um, there was a sort of a, um, negative energies that was happening a sort of a cruelty that has uh, taken place and now it is now over it has come to an end and there is a happy situation that is going to come out of it you also have the ten of Pentacles which is wonderful um, financial good financial vocative um, for um, family um, air finish um, money coming from your family maybe your family has passed away and left um, some money oh my gosh oh, I'm sorry <laughs> and um, let's see what is happening there yeah you're gonna be working together to build something and whatever it is is that um, some of you will be connecting with the screen of swords in some way to build something and to work on something some of you whoever the screen of swords is you're going to be connected to this person to be building something I you know this this is this is wonderful because the king the king of cup comes up and this is a wonderful wonderful energies and why is this a good energy it's because the king of cups there's a situation that um, the lovers are going on a, a, a new um, journey and if you are coupled up with the king of cups that can be a Pisces a cancer a scorpion it's going to be um, a good relationship it's a 
it's a psychic relationship it's a, a relationship that um, the universe has brought you two together for a reason and this is uh, really really going to be very promising it's going to be a good promising relationship and the end result is going to be the energy of the world oh my god oh my omg you begin the week with the world and you end the week with the world the energy of ending this is just so wonderful because what is happening is that this king of cups and the situation that is going on around you it is actually um a, a new beginning a new start a new beginning there's so many new beginnings a new start there is going to be the queen of swords that is going to be contacting you and sending you messages and is asking for a new start I don't know I you know when people ask me if I'm thinking if there was a situation that um, uh, taken place and it was not healthy why would you want to go back and connect with this person it is better not to okay because if you had a girlfriend and um, you're through the passage so whatever has happened whatever it's stolen you're through the passage it is now ended and it's going to be ill I'm going back to this because there is so many messages it's just a wonderful reading there was a lot of cruelty that has been done to you in the past and it has now come to an end and, and a new beginning with um, a healthy family because it's happiness it's joy it's um, it's a feeling good about certain things and this is wonderful because whenever the energy of the ten of cups comes up it is always that um, it's a rejoicing success and acknowledgement of joy and this is wonderful because what it is doing is that it is bringing new beginnings to you and this is going to be wonderful because these new beginnings is that with the energies of the lovers of people who are connected to um, the king of cups this is going to be um, very very positive okay so that's the love section of your reading it comes at, at the first um, side so uh, for some people um, sorry it could be a business partner um, business situation that has transpired or it could be a love relationship for some people so it's going to be coming um, the situation with the, the the king of cups which is a Pisces a cancer a scorpion um, that is over the age of 40 is going to be either business or it's it's, it's real true love um, and it is soulmate so if you're connected with your soulmate if there was a situation and something has transpired now you're going to see that you are moving on on a new beginning and you're going to be um, finding your way out in um, wonderful um, ways okay things are going to be working for you guys as we move um, forward we have the energy of the ten of Pentacles the ten of Pentacles is always wonderful it's because what is happening the ten of Pentacles is actually help coming from family or help coming from family members that is going to help you to move you through a situation that you're in because it's as if this week for you is you're looking for your true inner light this week this week is where you're looking for your true inner light and this is going to be coming out um, if you um, whatever the situation is it's there's going to be a new beginning for you um with your family and a new beginning in um money financial situation so this is just going to be so good it's just going to be so positive so as we look forward to see what is coming up what is coming up is a good um, um summer working or it's a good a connection it's a good um yeah connection with um, this 
this Queen of Swords um, to bring forward wonderful wonderful things and you are going to be actually working very good with this person which is um, so very strange but it's going to be happening for you and this is going to be good so as we look at what is happening here is that listen to your intuition because as you listen to your intuition you are going to be opening doors of opportunities for yourself so listen to your intuitions and the guides that you the messages that you're receiving because they're coming to you for a good reason whatever the cruelty was said that people tried to take stuff from you and that sort of a thing um, be aware that it's going to be okay it's going to work out somehow someone who is um, an Aquarius a Gemini or a Libra is coming back in your life and this person want to connect with you um, be aware of this person because it's um, not a nice person let's see what is going on trickery so um, don't let this person back in your life whoever you are out there if you had a situation and not a good situation with someone who um, was a who is a um, Aquarius and Gemini or a Libran don't let her back in your life for no don't let her back in your life okay don't do it don't do it okay I'm seems to bitter bittersweet you know going forward it is going to be a bittersweet um, because if you let this person back in your life it's not going to be um, it's going to be bittersweet do not let this person back in your life it's really 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 going to be a bittersweet situation it's a trickery it's a trickery this person is coming back for a reason and don't let this person back in your life okay you are um, a hurt sign person and these um, hair sign people seems to use their wit and so to come back and crawl back don't do this okay I want to say to each and every person thank you for being here thank you for being back it is um, going to be a wonderful week for you Virgos and please subscribe like share these videos and thumbs up um, um, I'm trying to make sure that I can um, uh, touch the lives of uh, a lot of people in um, whatever way I can okay so thank you and namaste